Welcome back everyone to another Gaming on the Brain playthrough. Today we've got the uh, 1988 bit of a strange old game, Dynamite Ducks. Yeah, it's a it. classic still. To, uh, many many arcades had this one back in the day. I remember, yeah, I remember seeing it a few times, first yeah. seeing, this, seeing this back in about 89 for me and uh, I was, I didn't think I played it at the time, but looking at the strange uh, enemies and characters and that, I was like, uh, we've got to give this a shot, like, because it looks uh, pretty uh, maladjusted, like, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a great game, I think, still. I'm going to do something I should probably never do here, but what I'm going to do is recommend that you watch the version without us waffling, waffling on, because the music is just amazing in this game, especially yeah. the first two Great levels. Kind of soundtrack off YouTube, I think they should, they'll probably love listening to us, so, you know, <laughs> it's, part, it's part of the charm of the, of the channel, I think. Watch so. both versions, watch this one first with us waffling on, then watch the version without the uh, talking. Yeah, watch it twice, yeah. yeah watch, watch, it twice. Twice, watch both of them twice, watch them all. And then like both of them, and then subscribe yeah. if you haven't already. <laughs> Should we get it on? Get it gone, yeah, why not? Yeah. On. Now I played through this last night um, in full, and um, yeah, let's just say it, it's it's not what I remember. It's <laughs> been a long time for me. It's been if I'm a little bit more familiar with the Master System version, um, which had a few differences in level placement and bosses, and that, I think if I remember right. Mm -hmm. It's been so long, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. There was versions for the computers as well, and if I remember right, they were quite respectable. Amiga and that I ST. I had it on the Amiga, the a copy, and I remember being very close, but then the combat system so simple, punch, kick, flying kick, punch, and uh, a nice little power punch, punch. Punch and jump kick, you can't do a normal kick. Colonel. Oh, that's it, yeah, it's more of a... How do you do a jump punch now, can you? Nope. No? No? Oh, just jump kick. Literally two attacks. Oh. If you include jump, I suppose you've got a third. But it does get very, but that's the other thing as well. Which uh, this might be a first. Think about it. Look up if you aim up and down. You can. It's maybe one of the first or the first beat em up where you attack attacking in three sixty degrees. Ah, so you're attacking right. upwards and down. I mean, wouldn't doesn't really work in a um, in a game with double dragons kind of uh, depth. But in this game where generally enemies take one hit, that it's actually a, it's a good good idea. Like, well. This game yesterday, I just spent most of my time just getting killed. Cause you don't seem to have much of a like a, a buffer, <laughs> a, like a invincibility between yeah. hits, so you can take multiple hits one after the other, and you just end up dying. Really. Ah, again, probably the uh, you know coin up related, but uh, I said I, I remember having like a lot of good. Oh, this is for the boss net. I remember having a lot of uh, good little times uh, with the Master System version. But the best thing to do, the best tactic for this is just stand and shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> just take your hits like a man. You do get a little bit of intimidity, but I don't think it's enough to really make a difference. Nah, it doesn't make a difference. But I just, I, I remember like the graphics at the time again, 1988, and the character doesn't look like this just looks like a living car. Oh, which is pretty crazy. I mean, I think you know now, but like in 1988, this was uh, pretty impressive stuff. Like, let us see. Uh, another early scrolling um, beat them up with, with very different levels uh, in the vein of Double Dragon, but with nowhere near the depth or style. Um, and again, a, a game that came out before Final Fight as well. But there's nothing in the way of grab moves around this, you know. So yeah, it's sure. closer to stuff like King of Dragons by Capcom or maybe even um, Dynasty Wars, and that. Yeah, yeah, you get a lot of hit, yeah, one hit enemies and stuff. Hit two hits. Yeah, I mean, they don't allow the attack in uh, 360 though. There's no running attacks really, you know. It's very simple combat. But again, I think this game would have sold itself at the time on its on its look, on its unusual look. You know, these comical characters, isn't it? You know, it's yeah. Look like a Saturday Saturday morning cartoon. Oh, I mean, I'm not taking anything away. Graphically, yeah. it's, it looks lovely for the '88 now. Have you ever worked out though why has some of the enemy? Oh, there's a glitch. Why is oh, some of the enemies enough. not for bodies? I don't know this. I mean, if anyone knows, they want to comment. <clears> like the the else the the, the moot eye. <laughs> I'll have to ask him, yeah. He might respond to this video. Hopefully you do, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Suzuki-san. Mr. Suzuki-san. Yeah, I remember like, this boss, shoot it, you can shoot the shoot bits it, off, yeah. Out. It circles, doesn't it? And then punch it really hard. <laughs> I, I even thought hiding down the bottom corner of the screen might save you, but it just means you kind of hit it. You try to hit the centre, aren't you? Yeah, you just you break all the locks on the outside. And then yeah, I like the way that it gets more and more fucked up though. Like, look at it, looks looks strong, looks like it's got a good hiding basically. You know, again, like really, eyes, really cool. Eyes get heavier and all. Yeah, he get like, like, X's in his eyes. Yeah, when they're dead, man. It's great, man. Yeah, I think we'll fight each other here, though. 
Shades of Double Dragon. I don't think it's yet. I think it's the next level. Yeah, after this one. Oh, that's it, man. There's two bosses for each level, isn't it? Two bosses for each level. So boss and six boss. levels, I remember right. It didn't, oh. have, didn't have much of a lasting impression on us, so I don't remember. <laughs> but the thing is, it's kind of experimental game, really, again, it's coming at a yeah. time when the side scrolling beat em up was new. Um, it hadn't maybe completely found its footing. Well, I mean, you could argue it did with Double Dragon and things that didn't need to really develop much from that, apart from obviously Final Fight game. Um, but the Ow, shit. props to Sega for for trying something a bit different. Oh, when it could have just went with a double dragon clone, a bit like uh, their later game. Tough to. Where it's a sunset, a uh, sunset release, and I didn't. But it's got Sega's name on it. I like that game actually. I, I fancy a two player. It needs to be done. So I was thinking about that. For it's last it's night. not a bad. Do you know what it is? Right, it does play like stripped like back it. double dragon, but there's something about the music though. No. Uh, it's a longer game. I mean, it's a lot longer. It's, it's more like a, it's almost a final fight length, to be honest. But oh, I, but it, it's about forty minutes. But it's oh, you hit us. I ain't hit you. But um, didn't you do that? So but it's um. I'm going to kick your ass in the box and match after. I was going to say I thought with uh, tough turf or like the, the bosses and the enemies, not like for very double dragon or warriors inspired, you know. Yeah. Renegade, you know. Well, I'm. I've never finished it, but I did play oh, I'm not quite a bit of it. Um, it. It was back when I played it, it must have been about 10 years ago. It was quite glitchy. Uh, I played it on an older meme and there was no glitches at all. They got older meme, so I had no problem at all. And this was I, like, I might be going back to even set like 37, talking about way back. Um, no, 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 no. But uh, 2000 or something that was. But it's, um, I remember I didn't complete it, but I remember f feeling that I felt a bit like Renegade. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously it doesn't have the button set up of Renegade, no. uh, the left and right hits, which would later be more popularised in Double Dragon 2 uh, Arcade, but it does have, um, it's that look isn't it, it's just the enemies with leather jackets and you know, uh, metal knee pads and stuff and, that, and headbands, bandanas and stuff, it's just, it's got that look which is clearly Renegade obviously being the western version of uh, the first Kunio Kun game, clearly inspired by the Warriors and all, such a, such a classic film. Like, yeah. Got its own game, didn't it, years later on the PS2, which turned out to be pretty fucking good, like, so... Yeah, mate. You know, it gets a good write-up by a lot of people. I won't waste time putting me near me. I, I think what I like about this game and all is the, the diversity of enemies again, though. I mean, yeah, you've got the dogs that you're fighting at level one, but they're always chucking something new at you, so it's if you do want to see what the levels... Uh, give you, you know, I mean, obviously oh. give like Double Dragon blew its load fairly early on. I mean, this is Double Dragon still better game than uh, Dying Light Ducks. Speaking of Double Dragon, I was uh, firing up the Xbox 360 yesterday and I managed to re-download me Double Dragon. Is that the one with the nice graphics? Yeah, All so right. I've recorded a uh, playthrough. Oh, I'd be crap, you know that's gone for good now, isn't it? If you, do, yeah. if you never won that back in the day, that's, that's a Double Dragon game that's now gone. So well, that's... it was only a few months ago I, I couldn't get it working. I could only play the demo, um, which uh, Xbox Live thought I only had a demo of the game, but I re downloaded it because you download your yeah. past purchase, most of them anyway, and it's worked. I managed to play through it all. Right, the trick here, Glenn, is the guard. That was it's the punch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, in your face, Red out. Duck. I kind of did it really, not to work. Just exactly what I was like with the computer with me yesterday, it just kept smashing the crap out of us. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I blame, oh, me, I, I blame my fingers still. Uh, no way. Um, Fist did you write in the um, belly button? Right. I mean, I loved it every second of it. Um, oh, I suppose technical fighting care, I've played in a while. I, I, I do remember that. I think you did have a fight at the end, didn't I? You probably do. Yeah, you might win this one, mate. Ah, oh, well. I had practice last night. <laughs> so that is, this is the first time I've played this game about 20 years, anybody, so... Um, not Mark, obviously, so any uh, winnings uh, yeah, or... Uh, get false. these excuses in already. Yeah, yeah. See, not? the missile launcher hiding behind the rock. That it happens twice, it happens again later on, though. I'm almost like an expert. I finished it less than 24 hours. Oh, you've been through about four or five times last night. You spent about three hours on this, didn't you? Well, see, one was more than enough. I'm alright, I, I say the same thing You're only level time, three. Like, I, I, How many levels is it? Eight. Six I think Oh that's not, that's not too bad We're, we're blasting through though Aye, Is there players. less enemies? Is there more enemies that would you say than two player? Is there more nah, things happening? I don't think so 
Yeah, probably about the same. This bitch takes the same golden axe, except you meant it would have a bottom of it. Oh. <laughs> golden axe. The That's elevation. That's a big golden axe. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've got one weird thing. You've got drift when you stop moving. When oh, you press yeah. that go, you actually drift a little bit. You, you have like that momentum, which is unusual. This is a good. Oh, I remember this block. Wonder Boy. That's not hurting. No way, he was bad. Yeah. That is yeah. hurting. It is. Just keep giving it some. You know, eventually, its legs will fall off. Yeah, the cracking on there. Yeah. Kind of cool, like. Ah, it's, it's yeah. I mean, technically, it's like quite a. Achievement for 88, I think. There we go. Another one bites the dust, or turns the dust in this case. You can't go that way. No. I'll keep you right, mate. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, is that you getting get us back for the uh, box? Was I hit? I didn't realise I was. I was, looking at, I was too busy looking at your hamburger. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's one there behind there. Oh, did you? <laughs> you fell off the top. You fell off the top. You fell off the top. Off the top. Off the top. Oh, that's unusual, mate. Quite rare, but I don't know. Like. Oh, I was saying that though with the full movement, you know, they've been able to tap up and at the point that oh, you can fall up and all. Right. Fall up. But there's another life gone. One third of a 10 minutes piece. Very sorry, 10 minutes pieces. I'm reading that arcade book like the minute. It's good stuff, like we're just about to move into the 90s era. We're about up to the mid 80s now, so that Arcade Britannia book for anyone uh, interested in a good read. Well, if you like a bit of read from there. Uh, too many words in it for me. Uh, it, it is, there's, there's a lot of words, a lot of words, but then that's most books. Uh, <laughs> there's a few pictures. Uh, <laughs> the black really. white. Uh, um, but I'm, I'm liking them. I mean, it started off uh, from like the 1800s and that, you know, like, when fairgrounds had like mechanical machines that you would. Give 10 minutes to a little boy, like a kid, and he would like turn a crank for you or something, you know. You didn't even have a slot to put your money in. That's how where it started, and then it went into like early fruit machines and pinballs, bagatelli, which is like pinball without the uh, flippers. Uh, still not that bad, like they're very expensive those machines now. And then obviously now we're into like the era, went through the 70s, we're into about the mid 80s now, so. Um, like early mid 80s, talking about the Defender and uh, Space Invaders and Scramble and the like. And that's a good read. It's gonna, it goes into the history of everything, so it's gonna get into the more the, the era that interests me the most being the 90s and that, you know. So you'll talk about Street Fighter and um, all the classic shooters of the time once we get there. So that's gonna be a big thing. I'm very surprised if it skips anything like that. I'm enjoying it. I'm halfway through. No, good, good. Uh, there's not many books like that that we should write one. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, I think. Oh, um, just the it's, it? uh, it's Because it's British based, it turns out like the two, the UK and the US, just not talking about Japan for a moment, but the US and the UK seem to have very different uh, markets though. Yeah. Uh, which I would have thought that I, I didn't really realise because I never looked into it too much. If I said, seem to be like. Obviously, from about the 90s, say the early, but Street Fighter era, really, um, that's when things started to sort of like come together. You know, I mean, obviously, you had the uh, the video game crash of '82 as well. Which, even though it, it, it's called Arcade Britannia, the boot, I, I'd be surprised if it doesn't actually mention that at all. You know, just with a bit, it didn't really affect the, the UK as much, but it, it was a thing, obviously. Yeah. Kevin, what I'm in need of. So that'll be uh, interesting. I like it, mate. I think it's good. Probably. I can't think of many games where Star is the bad guy. Stars are usually good. Something you pick up with it. Yeah. This maybe. one's not letting you just pick it up. I don't remember this. I don't think I've played through this version. I think I have only played the Master System. Because that's why I said I think the Master System's shorter. I think it's a shorter game. Uh, with less like enemies minutes. bosses. Possibly I like only half the levels in, which was a thing in some of the Master System games. Ah, oh, was cartridge size now. Sometimes it was down to versions, or I mean, there was a game called Captain Silver, I believe that's what it's called. That was, a, I think, a Data East side scrolling sort of, a little bit like Shinobi, you know, where you, you platform, uh, beat them up sort of thing, where you were stabbing pirates and that. 
and there was a few versions of that. Like it was an arcade game and it was a NES game as well. But there was a NES version that was only uh, sorry, one of the Master versions, the UK one, I think, was half the size of the American version. Type Gibbs didn't want to make, use a bigger cartridge. It's know? it's that I it's, a, it's exactly that. It just used the, like a two, a two mega as opposed to four mega or something. So shocking that though, isn't it? Especially when you've literally lost half the game, you would pay the same price probably. Um, oh, they've been, they've been, you know, wouldn't have been a budget release. Do, do you know what makes it even more shocking though? Um, I've seen both versions of the manual in the UK, like whichever version it is, it's the UK one shorter than the American one. It's got everything, it just assumes that, like, it's the full game. So you've got levels and enemies it's mentioned in the manual which aren't even manual. there. Uh, it would have been, uh, it was bad enough when computer games did it, and, like, US Gold would release, you get an Amiga version of something, and the manual would be. Like talking about the Amiga version only and the controls and stuff and levels and enemies, and then you'd get your Commodore your Specky version, and the game was like half oh, the game was missing. I, I just show you the screenshots. Of the uh, Amiga uh, version. And I mean, <laughs> yeah, but but those games tend to be way cheaper, you know. I mean, you pay ten pound for like a you pay yeah, ten pound for average full price Specky or Commodore Amstrad game, but if you pay about thirty to forty quid for the Master System cartridge release, you know, it's a bit of a swizz like. So. Oh God, I haven't used that word for a while. All that extra money just for the convenience of not having to press play on the tape and sit back for an hour. And uh, uh, well, uh, mind you, I don't know if you know this, but uh, PC Engine version of R Type did it the best way. Like, um, well, oh, the the worst. two cards. Released right. two, two few card size that is their format. Card. But they were called R Type One and R Type Two. And it's like, well, if you didn't realise and you thought you were getting actually R Type Two, and you're not, yeah. you're getting R Type One Part Two. How will so they release the uh, CD version? They did a full the complete one, uh, game with extras yeah. and everything I had. In fact, I believe there's two CD versions now. Or what I could be thinking is, I think I've got that wrong, I think there's the CD complete, I think it's called R-Type complete with extra levels and, uh, not extra levels, but extra music and some cutscenes. And then I think the Japanese, if I got right, the, oh, I don't know. I think the Japanese version of the original R-Type is on a full view card, if I've got that right. Or, it's the American release is complete. I think it's the American version came as, a, as one complete game. Except that's shite that. Like. <coughs> I can't remember which way that it is. But yeah, I knew about that. Yeah. Shocking. Come get some. <laughs> Come on! Oh, get out, stay at the shops. Can I do that? I don't. It's, once you get pinned in the corner, you can't even use your duck to get out of it. I'm not even using the duck, I am a duck. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. It's called block, but you're not blocking. You, you're I'm like not blocking. I'm trying to block. I'm just going to do it until I die. These sections are boring. Oh, that's terrible because I keep winning. That's great, isn't it? That's, that's why it's terrible for you. I'm just going to stand in the corner of the next one. So See, you do realise though there's like three or four fights here, so that, that pretty much means I'm winning. You oh, might win the last two double dragon fights. No, I don't mind. Like if it makes you feel better, what I'm gonna, I'll tell you what I'm going to be strategy, my special winning strategy for the next round is to stand in the corner and to hit punch. <laughs> I'm that. not going to move. So I eat, at worst, it's a draw. <laughs> oh. Oh, get off the cliff. That's what you get. Oh. Fall the spikes. Oh, God. I, I don't remember some of this stuff. Like, I'll tell you, I played through this once and. It's quite forgettable though. No, no, I think the level design is kind of I mean, there's some. Ah, the levels are not. You get. There's, there's oh, some. Fell off the edge again. I mean, the enemies are starting to repeat a little bit now, like, but that's halfway through the game, so that's not too bad, like. I'd be a bit gutted if, like, after level one, you were just fighting. Well, saying that, the Indian. Indian? Do we call them that now? No. The Native American Native dogs, American. or whatever they are. Uh, definitely something I can't remember at all. So, again, something. I've seen all the Master System version. Or, I'm thinking about the Omega version, it just doesn't have all the stuff in it. So it could be stripped back, maybe that's half a game, or or it's just knock all the enemies, because I don't remember all these characters. Ah, oh, there's tons of different bloody enemies. Ah, like. I don't remember all this, so I have a feeling like, uh, <laughs> definitely had it on the Omega, definitely had the Omega, because I remember playing, this is a boss? Yeah, he's like King Penguin. Penguin? Nah, don't remember him at all. Right, I'm, this makes Still me want to know. This eye, I know, or, or happy feet, or unhappy feet in this case. But I'm thinking about uh, watching some, I'm not playing it. Fancy watching some long plays of all the computer versions now in the mosque to see what's missing. So, I, I was you're not allowed to watch long plays, so we do long play, like play through. Oh, so you're not you're watch obliged our, to only watch our channel. Right then, I think we need to, after this, we need to play all the, all the, com all the home versions, the mosque system. It probably came out on the Wii so I'll let you do that. Oh. 
You must keep punching it, so you must keep punching it, so you drop me flame for I'm down here. The fist isn't that big. <laughs> it is when you charge it up. I'm, I just don't, I just keep tapping it. It's too much effort oh, to hold I the button. Oh, I went behind the scene. I think you can jump over there. I'm just going to try something. Wait, I watch. No, you can't. You can jump off the you top, maybe. The weapon's behind the door. This reminds me of Commando, really, you know, where you got these blokes with Aye. mortars and that behind the box. Oh, I fell off. Oof. I'm trying to avoid getting hit, but it's just not happening. Possible, out. Possible. Oh, that's terrible, that. Really got to get on the edge of that jump like. Music is cool, though. Hey. Music is good, like. This isn't one of the more memorable tracks. It's the first two levels that are just absolutely amazing. <clears throat> I could quite fancy like re redoing them in like a rock theme or, or like a something like that, like a trancy theme or something. Oh, look at that man, see oh, even the mole just comes that's, from nowhere. Oh, uh, him again? Hit you again! So yeah, they beat, you beat the fire, you get the repeats of the rock as well. The rock. The rock. Not that rock. But well, this is the boss of the level then? Yeah, it is this time, yeah. He... He was... He was a halfway boss last Was time, he? I'm sure he was. Oh, I hate when they do that. I don't mind so much when... If they repeat it as a fire boss game, but... Like a new colour scheme and tougher or something. That's lazy, but it's something, you know. I mean, even... Uh, Steel Empire, like... Did that, but it changed that boss a bit. Yeah. The, the, the purple, you know what I mean? That, that spit, that ship. They, they've changed it a bit and added some weapons on, so you probably thought, hey, I'm just if I'm fighting the same old middle boss again, but it's not. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> Mark's Double Dragon 3. It is, yeah, you fight the. Uh, what's on the unclear part there? Oh, cool. No, you don't really. Oh. Do you know that looks like a space invader in the background almost? Not. Yeah, three, like three, three, it's a three, tr a three trumped elephant. Hi. Oh, no, it's not a space invader, it looks like a lander. Yeah, a lander. It's a lander, aye, right, from Defender. Oh, yes, aye. Right. Oh it's, oh, it's a three trunk elephant, hasn't it? Triple trunk. There's a bazooka for you. A little bit of red cheeks on the missile, hasn't it? Jump! Oh, I missed everything. Stay with the whole thing. Oh, homing bazooka. Just a little bit of uh, extra history about uh, Dynamite Duck, seeing all this late in the game. It's called Bin and Pin. Uh, I, believe, I assume Bin's the blue one and Pin's the red one. But it does yes, tell you actually, it's at the top screen there. there. Um, did go on to, uh, well, uh, sort of been, but he's been renamed Bean for some reason. He went on to star in Sonic the Fighters. Ah, uh, yes. Which is, uh, yes. It, it, that's getting a little bit more traction lately. There's a few people like, sort of, you know, it, it was completely unheard of being a Japanese exclusive for a long time, but there's a, it's got a little uh, community going a somehow. Um, I have to play through it. I, it's, the fighting system's not that bad actually. Um, but it's Sega yeah, STV though, isn't it? It's, I believe it is, yeah, I believe it is. I, I, probably best off doing it on a Saturn. Maybe, I. Yeah, but uh, uh, it didn't, I think it's an arcade exclusive. Ah, I think I'm think. i sure I've got it, I can play it. Oh no, I think, it I think it's Model uh, 2 maybe. It might be, then it might be actually. It's just, I, can't, I can't remember the hardware, Tom. Yeah, but I think it might be Model 2, you know. You play a green version of, of these, and these say it's called Bean, so... Um, just so you know, there's... Bean. Fight Bean. Sonic. Fits right in, though, really. Yeah, no, Fits it right does. in. Probably done them in green, so he doesn't get confused with Sonic, so... I accept so this pretty much the same blue. But it was kind of cool to see a, a character which, by that by then, would have been like three, four years... Well, the game came out in 96 or 7 or something, so... Would have been nearly a decade out of date, so it's nice to see you never got forgotten about. Yeah, well, it's just another yeah. one of Sega's IPs that have yeah. got hiding, and tucked away in a I'm, filing cabinet. I'm surprised, right? I mean, I know this game isn't amazing, but I'm surprised that they haven't sort of um, made like a newer version. Uh, but as a download, you know, as a downloadable game, and uh, maybe tartened it up a bit, made the uh, combat system a bit more fleshed out. Yeah. You know, or, or a true sequel, but like. You know, because in this day and age where you've got like Street to Age 4 and uh, Double Dragon, uh, the, the new Double Dragon game, that's not the boss. It looks like it is. It's it is, right? Yeah, yeah, you've got oh, you to kick him in the ball. Oh, I... I think you do anyway, that's what I did last night. Yeah, that's hitting, you... that's yeah. hitting. Oh, yeah. Then you... he has like three different. Has he got uh, B though? Is that a really big smile? It's B, isn't it? Uh, Look like he had a big toothy grin. He's got like a Homer Simpson. Uh, what is he meant to be? Is he a man or is he a. 
Is he dead? Well, he's, he's a dwarf now. Oh, he's a dwarf. He is, is, a dwarf. is it okay to use the word dwarf? Uh, I think it's illegal. Is, it, is anyone offended by the word dwarf? Dwarf? Does, are they called little people now? Or? Well, one. I think Congratulations, Glenn. I think we have to fight, mate. I'm just gonna, this is going to be it. I'm just going to sit in the corner. If I win this, mind, this is the decider, even though you won the previous two, three, whatever it was. I'm just so going happy. time out. It's going to be on video forever. I'm so happy. Oh, I don't need to do anything with Dana. Mark on the Master's. I'm not. Where's Mike? You obviously didn't get a high enough score. Oh, God. It's me. It's hand still in my face. <laughs> oh, it's just. Oh. Mark balls. It is, yeah. That was it. Done. But, uh, yeah, I still enjoy it. It was a nice little length, though. It's, that was yeah, alright. It's, it's not a bad bit. It's better in two player game, but that, that's pretty much every game. Well, most well, games. I anyway. want to do a swap next, like. Ah yeah, I think and we should do that I... next time. We'll do a few Sega games and then yeah. some Capcom, Capcom games. Stuff Keep like a look out for that. for that, yeah. But that was good, but a bit of fun with that, nice and simple. All I'm going to do now, though, is do a little bit of research into the other versions and find out what the crack is with them. Like, so. Well, if there's any that you think are worth playing for, we'll do them. Yeah. But um, once again, always. everyone, thank you very much for joining us and uh, have a great weekend. Uh, it's Friday here now in the, in the, in the Ook. And we'll uh, see you next time. Ook. Take Ook. care. Ook. See you later. Bye.